Desert Vapor back with another short, sweet, simple video. Today we'll be reviewing the Wizmec slash Jabo joint effort. The noisy cricket. Check it out. Looks like a double barrel shotgun. BAM! Alright guys, here it is. It's a simple little mod. This won't take any time at all to review. Here's your aluminum casing uh, on this. This is a series box, people. Series. So... AKA not for advanced or not for beginner vapors for advanced vapors only and I'll get to that in a second why but let's take a close look at some components here shall we okay besides the body of the mod we have your switch here which is Dalrin nice you'll see on there so Jabo Wizmec that's it Dalrin top nice simple short throw Nice and crunchy. It's got a nice little action to it. There's dang focus, man. Every time I do a dang video, this crap. Anyways, there you go. A little dull run or the peak insulator around the base of the switch. And that's that. And then here is another piece that goes on the top. That your atomizer will thread into focus, you piece of junk! Anyways, this is the piece that your atomizer threads into. It says Wismec. That's it. I gotta clean those threads. They're a little dirty. Okay, guys, back to the safety issue. Once again, this is a series box mod, meaning these batteries are not parallel. They are in series. So you're getting a full 8.4 volts out of this when your batteries are charged. It's not regulated, of course. It's mechanical. But uh, safety, folks. Safety first, okay? Know your Ohm's Law. Do not build. I wouldn't go below point. 3.5 on this. People say don't point two five. No, that's that's risking. Put you're pushing your batteries at that point. I I stay at point four zero, and it still hits like a mirror. No, but seriously, guys, this thing's so volcanic that you there's really no need to go below point three five. And at, at that point, you're you're pushing your battery safety. So know your Ohm's laws. Run safe batteries. No Chinese knockoffs. Make sure they're nice, repeatable batteries. VTC five, MXJOs, LGs. You know batteries of the sort okay don't get cheap don't risk your hands don't risk your life don't risk end up being on the news and giving the vaping industry a bad name comprende amigos good okay back to the mod i forgot to show you this um inside you have your little rocker you can hear it going back and forth so basically when you push down on your switch uh, you're making contact all the way through you're completing your circuit here okay i'll show you that up close how to how you put this all together because that's safety First, safety is paramount here as always. Uh, but on the bottom side, um, you got Jabo's name engraved in there and six vent holes for your battery just in case things go south. Okay, back to batteries. I just picked up some new uh, MXJO 18650s. That's what this mod is in case you didn't realize that already. It is an 18650 mod. So uh, I got some 3000 Ma 35 amp MJXOs here. Uh, one thing to do note. You must marry your batteries to your mod. What that means is when you use your batteries, label them. I like to, I bought four fresh batteries specifically for my noisy cricket here. So you're going to want to name, number them one and two and run one and two and charge one and two at the same time. And of course, three and four. So you're going to want to charge three and four together, run them in the air or in the mod together. Comprende, I sound, what the heck, I'm talking Spanish today. I don't know how you say I understand in any other language. How about, uh, uh, I don't know. Okay, now we got our freshly charged MXGO 18650s here. See how I numbered mine? That way you know which ones are, should be charged together and run together in the mod. So, uh, there's my stupid bot trays, and here's my mode, my noisy cricket. All right, now, when you want to run this thing, One side, doesn't matter what side, when you first initially throw your batteries in here, it doesn't matter which side. Uh, positive side up, okay? You see that? Positive side up. Okay, next thing you want to do here, get this out of the way. Take this piece here that your atomizer threads onto. You want to say, you don't want this recessed portion here that goes down onto the positive side of the battery, okay? Logo side up where it says Wismec, that goes up. What you do is you just take your, your Addy and thread it on. Bam! On 
onto the side of the battery. Now, if people, now let me throw this back off again real quick so I can show you. Do not run any tanks on this. Do not run any atomizers or addies that do not have a protruding center pin. You see that? Like my Doge X2 here. Got a nice protruding center pin. It's got to stick out way past your negative threads here. This is making direct contact with your positive side of your battery. So, people, if your center pin does not stick out past those threads, do not use it on the Noisy Cricket or any mechanical mod with a hybrid top. You will blow up, you will hurt, and you will suffer. Okay, now that I got my base, it's not focusing again. Here we go. Mess with Steve Day. All right, now you're just going to thread it on to the side with the battery. Okay. Nice, nice threads on this, and they're not the greatest. Here, a little crunchy. Oh my gosh, focus. A little crunchy, you hear that? Not bad. They're pretty smooth, just a little crunchy. That's all. Now on this side, remember this side was positive up. Positive up is going to touch your atomizer. This side, positive goes down. These are in series, okay? Blop. You throw that in. Take your switch, thread it on. Here once again, a little crunchy, a little crunchy. But we'll thread around as far as we go by hand. And what I like to do is take a quarter. See, it's pretty close. You don't want to over tighten the piss out of it. Just take a little quarter. Get a little, a little snuck. Okay. She's rowdy. She's ready to go. Let's vape it. Okay guys, remember what I said about not building too low on this? This is a .40 build, dual coil, a 9.8 wrap on 24 gauge canthal, running at .40 ohms, which is what I recommend, .35 at the very lowest, lowest folks, keep it nice, keep it safe. But check out how rowdy this thing is. That is ridiculous. Alright, let's juice it up, and we'll vape. Quick juice shot, juicy skittles from Red Star Vapor here in Mesa, Arizona. Or, this one's actually from Phoenix, new store. 1090 blend of PGVG and 3 milligram nicotine. Okay, guys, those of you who have never run a series mod before, they hit hard. Woo! Check this out, just a little tug. Your sack. I like them. Uh, I love, always, I've always loved mechanicals. I've got other videos on about that. But um, let's take a drag. Mother of mercy. You see what I'm talking about? Noisy cricket. You all know what that's a reference to. Men in black. Remember? Men in black. Just little drags. I swear the fame never stops coming. Out of the pros and cons. Pros. Price. Original. Authentic. Box, if you call it a box, I don't know what you call it. Mechanical box. 35 bucks. 35 bucks. How awesome is that? Hmm? Size. Compact. Okay, this thing's small. It's nice. I mean, my next, I, I love my Tesla 2s. But look at this compared to the Tesla 2. Same height. Okay? Same height. But about 3 millimeters smaller in width. Same as always, 22 millimeter. Okay, so all your 22 millimeter addies will sit ultra flush. Looks nice, feels nice. It's a nice aluminum box. When you get the batteries in there, it gets a little weighty. It's got a nice feel to it. I like the top fire button. That's another pro. Delrin's nice. Box never gets too overly hot. It gets a little warm, but not hot. Nothing bad. Uh, cons. I think I opted for the black because I like black. 
Um, they do have a brushed aluminum finish, or just unfinished, I guess you say, just brushed look. Cons, you get a little juice on there, it gets smeary. Not too bad, though, it wipes right off. Uh, the paint, I dropped it already. You can see little nicks on there, maybe. If this junk freaking camera would focus. Mm, turn, there we go, see? Just one small little drop from like six inches off the ground. Chipped the heck out of it. Not too bad. Um, another con, uh, the fire button's a little weird. I prefer in the front, like trigger style. This isn't too bad, it's just a little awkward, not horrible. I don't even know why I'm mentioning that, but it might be subjective to some guys. To me, it's not, it's just a little, whatever. Not horrible, you know? Well, that's it. Awesome little mod, highly recommended. Pick it up, noisy cricket. Do a little small dragging so you can see. Pretty rowdy. Pretty awesome. Thanks for watching. I have some more videos coming up soon here. Uh, be patient with me. I'm doing I did some more car work this weekend. I modified my car a little bit. Haven't had too much time to get my vape reviews up, but I'll keep them coming. As always, here it comes. What am I going to say? That's right. Hurt me. Leave me. Oh, I swallowed it. <coughs> Dang it. Uh, <coughs> Happy vaping. There's a vapor out.